staples for keto has been um, going to Aldi every week. Man, this is a really bad angle. Um, I go to Aldi about every week and one of the things that I like to get is a whole chicken so that I can cook it rotisserie style in my crock pot. Now this is something that I have done before but now I'm doing it more on the regular because chicken is really a good staple when you're doing keto. Um, it's and a rotisserie chicken is actually really simple if you have a crock pot. It's delicious, it's versatile. I use it for lunches for my husband, I use it for lunches for myself. We have a big chicken dinner um, whenever I do this, which will include um, usually for my husband and my son mashed potatoes um, and some type of green beans, broccoli, salad, something like that. Obviously I'm not eating the potatoes. Um, I tried doing a cauliflower mash once and I might try it again sometime soon, but it's just um, really easy for me to just, you know, eat the vegetables, eat the chicken, and it's really filling, delicious, and healthy. So what I do is I take a whole lot of paprika. Actually, I'm going to put a little more in here. My key to doing this, I don't really have a recipe, I've done a recipe before, but um, my key to doing this is just making a whole lot of rub and then pouring some olive oil over the chicken before I cook it. So get, this is probably two or three tablespoons of paprika and then I'm using garlic powder, probably about the same amount. Again, probably the same amount because I really like, the more you have, the easier it is to cover all of your chicken. And then the main ingredient is going to be salt. You want a lot of salt in there. And actually it's not the main ingredient, it's probably, probably equal portions of everything. So this is my rub, just mix it all together. Mix it all together, and then you're going to take your chicken, Aldi has a pretty good deal on whole chickens, um, but usually a whole chicken is not that expensive. It's usually, actually I don't know that I've bought it anywhere else, but when I looked at the prices, they're, they're about $6 for a whole chicken. Um, so you take your chicken, you take out anything that's inside of it. There's usually a package wrapped in paper, which is the neck um, and the probably the heart, the liver, just, you know, organs. Now you can eat those if you want to. Um, chicken liver is very high in iron, which is good for you. I personally do not usually keep them or cook them. Um, because honestly, I think it's gross. But one of these days, I'll probably get around to trying it. Um, you rinse off your chicken, pat it dry with some paper towels, pour your rub on it, rub it around, make sure you cover the whole chicken. If you have some leftover, um, just pour it inside. Um, and then you're gonna put your chicken inside of your crock pot. It's easiest to put the rub on inside of the crock pot. Um, put your chicken breast side down <clears throat> because that is the thickest part of the chicken and you want that to cook all the way. If you have it breast side up, it's probably not gonna cook that well. Um, drizzle it with a lot of olive oil. Um, not so much that your rub is gonna come all the way off, but definitely try and, you know, drizzle it over most of your chicken back. And then you're gonna put the lid on and cook it on high for four or five hours. And then you're gonna have a delicious, nutritious, um, rotisserie chicken that you can put on salads. You can eat it plain. You can eat it with a cauliflower mash and a salad. Um, 
however you want to do it. I've, I used it in ramen last week, uh, keto ramen, which I made a video on. So if you want that, um, the recipe is on that video. And there you go. A lovely rotisserie chicken for your keto diet. And make sure to save your bones and leftovers to make some soup. Keto on, guys.